Hi and welcome to next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to create automatic animation expressions using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you'll need is you'll need to have a project file ready so that you can apply some of these expressions to. Now I'm, I'm using my previous project where I've got a jittery adjustment layer on here and if you don't know how to create an adjustment layer like that, you can watch my previous video which will teach you how to create that adjustment layer. I'm just going to use my resources that I've downloaded from FreePick and I'm going to use this cactus here and I'm going to paste it into my working project file. So there I've got my cactus. So I'm just going to make him a little bit smaller and I'm probably going to scale him in as soon as that pencil leaves. So probably around about there. So I'm using Keyfast here which really simplifies the time because it creates really nice keyframes very very quickly. And there I've got my cactus that jumps in. Now we're going to add some expressions to a few things on the cactus. The two main things that you can apply this expression to is position and rotation. So if I go to this website which is called Motion Script where you can find a lot of uh, expressions, we're going to have a look at the looping wiggle expression. All right, so now there's a little bit to the code, but really the main things that you need to worry about is the frequency, the amplitude, and the loop time. So the frequency is how often do you want your value to move per second. The amplitude is how much your value is allowed to change above or below the starting value and the loop time is how long do you actually want it to loop for. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this code and we are going to go back into After Effects and we are going to add it to our rotation. So before we do anything we just need to grab the pan behind tool and we need to put this anchor point down and I really want this to rotate from side to side. So that's why I'm going to put the anchor point at the bottom in the middle. So now to add the expression, all you have to do is hold Alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch and then Control V to paste. And so if I do that and if I play the animation back, you can see here that the cactus now is moving from left to right. And that's because we put that anchor point right there. So it moves in correlation with that anchor point. Now it's obviously moving way too much. So I'm going to reduce the amplitude. I'm going to bring it down to about 50. And I'm going to increase the loop time to 10 seconds, which uh, my composition is. So I can even reduce the frequency down to something a little bit less than one. So now if I play that back, you can see here we have a more, you know, reasonable loop to the actual expression. And so it's not moving around so much. So now I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to do it again. But this time I'm going to use the position. So I'm just going to move that over to the side. So now I'm going to press P on my keyboard for position. So I'm just going to add this to the position. I'm going to hold Alt, click on the stopwatch and then Control V to paste and we'll have a look at what that actually does. So you can see here with the position, it actually moves around according to that anchor point. So if you want to go back in and change the anchor point, so this time I'm going to put the anchor point probably in the middle of the cactus. Now again, it's moving way too fast. So we are going to drop down the amplitude probably to about 40 and we are going to drop down the frequency to 0.5. Again, we're going to increase the loop time to 10 and we're going to have a look at how that goes. So here, you know, it's just, it's a very subtle kind of um, effect. You don't want it to, to loop around uh, too much, but yeah, I, I think it's looking pretty cool and you can actually add position and rotation together. So I think that's pretty cool. But I'm going to add one last thing because you can do this to pretty much anything inside of um, After Effects. So I'm going to add a new shape layer 
and I'm just going to draw a let's say a, an octagon and you can actually add this um, expression to your shape layers so I'm going to go inside my my polygon that I created and I'm going to go into position and I'm going to paste that expression in there so again we're going to drop it down let's say maybe 0.4 and we're going to bring that down to about 40 and we are just going to change the loop time to 10 and we'll see what that actually does so you can see here that the polygon is moving around as well so anyways I think that's about it. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you learned the power of expressions in After Effects because they're very powerful tools and you can you can simplify a lot of animation work by using some of these expressions. But anyways guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.